Now, a lot of people will think about like, oh no, I need to optimize my upper chest training. I need to make sure I hit it from this angle to get this. I'm gonna do only inclines because I want to build up my upper chest. Upper chest? What upper chest, bro? You have no chest, you're a beginner. You don't even have enough gains to even notice any type of pec development. Okay, your chest is about as flat as the Sprite from Taco Bell. You should not be focusing on, oh, I only gotta focus on the upper pec. I'm gonna be doing this type of curl because I only wanna focus on the short head, the peak. Bro, what peak? You have no biceps at all. You shouldn't be worrying about the little details like this. You should be focusing on the big picture. What's up everyone, David here. Got a new video for y'all today. But before we get into it, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any new videos. Because remember, new videos on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So don't miss out. So we're gonna be talking about two essential concepts when it comes to working out. And I feel like one of them keeps getting thrown around. What's funny is before I used to think that the biggest argument in fitness was whether an exercise was functional or not. Is this exercise functional? Is this exercise functional? Is this circuit going to be functional? I feel like that word just got thrown around so many times that people don't even really know what it means anymore. Nowadays, I feel like that new word is optimize you hear all these influencers say oh no this is how you're going to optimize your workout you got to optimize your results by doing this you got to change your technique to really optimize the development of this muscle but realistically do people even know what optimization is and do you really need it depending on what stage you are in your lifting career for a little bit of background information Let's really define what optimize is or optimization it means to make the best or most effective use of anything now, where I think people are really getting at is they shouldn't be optimizing necessarily their training, like, you know, their diet, the exercise selection, the frequency in which they're training. I think what they need to focus on more, especially if you're a beginner, is not optimize your gains, but maximize your gains. Now, maximize means to make as large or as great as possible. So if you wanna think of it this way, optimize means getting more bang for your buck but maximize means getting more bucks, all right? So a lot of people, they're just focusing on the optimization. They're focusing on the little details, especially beginners. They think that these little things are gonna make the biggest difference, which over time, don't get me wrong, they can, but should you really be focusing on it as a beginner? Even if you're at advanced lifter or just even intermediate, I don't think so. I think what you should be really focusing on is maximizing your results. You shouldn't be focusing on the little details. Oh, should I do my tricep extensions with the rope or the regular attachment? Oh man, should I be getting this brand of protein or should I be getting this brand of protein? No, you gotta be worrying about your maximizing results. You gotta figure out how are you gonna get the most amount of gains? Not necessarily more bang for your buck. How much are you gonna get more bucks? So let's break it down this way. You hear all these influencers talk about uh, the biomechanics of a lift. Oh no, if you wanna angle your arm this way to really lengthen the tricep, or uh, if you put your elbow this way, it's gonna really optimize the angle of your shoulder joint so that you could really effectively hit your, your chest. But I mean, at the end of the day, do you really need to be focused that much on the biomechanics of a lift? Essentially, yeah, eventually it's important to make sure you have a good form. But realistically, if you give enough stimulus to any muscle, it's going to have to force itself to adapt. So it doesn't matter whether I'm doing a tricep pushdown like this or if I'm grabbing a different attachment that allows me to go all the way down. Regardless, at the end of the day, are you even pushing yourself enough to even see results? It doesn't matter whether I'm doing a tricep pushdown with the straight bar attachment like this or with the rope attachment like this, regardless of which one I use, it doesn't matter if I'm not even pushing myself hard enough to really feel the burn in my triceps, to really force the muscle to grow and adapt to the stimulus that I'm placing on it. In the end, don't focus so much on optimizing your specific tricep exercise, your specific tricep attachments. No, just worry about maximizing your results by getting your muscle used to contracting against a heavy enough resistance through a full range of motion. 
in terms of food, specifically protein, a lot of people are very nitpicky about, oh no, I gotta time my protein intake just right. I gotta get my protein in within 30 minutes of a workout or after you complete a workout, thinking that the anabolic window is a real thing and all that. I mean, those are just the little things that, oh no, I gotta tell, no, it's been exactly this much. Oh no, I'm gonna start losing gains if I don't refeed myself. Man, those are just little details. At the end of the day, what you should be doing is just maximizing your protein intake. You're so worried about how often you should be eating protein no what matters is at the end of the day are you even hitting enough protein to for your specific needs and your specific goals are you hitting the right amount of grams that you should be using or eating for your specific body type you see you're too focused on the little things like that but especially if you're a beginner bro just start eating start eating it up i mean get your chicken breast get your beef your milk just start loading it up, eat higher amounts of proteins. Obviously you want it to be good quality and focus on that, maximize your results. Don't focus so much on the little details at this stage. Over time, you'll get the results. Then you can start focusing on these little things. In the end, all you gotta do is just figure out how many grams of proteins you need for your specific body and your specific goals, and then spread it out throughout the day, whatever works for you. Again, everyone's gonna be different. Just do what you feel is comfortable and works best for you and the results that you're looking for. Next, we got all these different bodybuilders, all these different influencers, celebrities. They're all, everyone's coming out with a supplement brand now. Everyone has a protein powder. Everyone has a pre-workout. We got all this creatine. We got we got so many different supplements out there that everyone is so obsessed. With. It's like, oh, should I be getting this brand of protein powder? Oh, I don't know, man. It's got this ingredient. Oh, should I be getting this supplement? I don't know. It's got this. It's been shown to do that. Man, should I get this pre-workout? Oh, no, it only has this many milligrams of caffeine. Should I be getting this? this type of pre-workout it's only got this many milligrams man should i be using bcaas should i be using all this it's just, there's so much out there and these are the little things that where especially if you're a beginner why are you even emphasizing on your supplements when instead you should be focused on eating a good balanced whole foods diet again optimizing your nutrition doesn't mean having to take supplements that's not the little things like that no, you need to maximize your results by eating whole foods, good amount of foods, and the amount of portions you're eating, again, it's gonna depend on you and your goals. If you're someone who's looking to gain weight, obviously caloric surplus. If you're someone who's looking to lose weight, obviously it's gonna be a caloric deficit. Focus on good natural foods. Then afterwards, you can start focusing on the little details, like maybe introducing some protein powders. But again, they're called supplements for a reason. They're meant to supplement your diet. All right, for right now, just leave the supplements to the high schoolers that think that they're doing something, but in reality, they're not. Focus on whole foods. All right, look at the big picture. Next, again, when it comes to optimization, everyone's looking at the little details. What little water that you already drink throughout the day, if you think that switching it to alkaline water because it's gonna optimize your hydration, man, it's not gonna make a difference if it doesn't even compare to the amount of coffee, amount of energy drinks, amount of sodas, and amount of sugary drinks that you drink throughout the day. No, instead what you need to focus on is just maximizing your water intake. All right, what little water you drink throughout the day is not gonna make a difference whether it's alkaline, or just this other specialty voodoo water, if you're not even drinking enough of it in the first place, all right? Bare minimum, in my opinion, for what you should be taking, again, this is just bare minimum. It doesn't even take into account how much you should be drinking if you're gonna be working out or putting yourself through some type of strenuous exercise is whatever your body weight is, divide that by two, that's how many ounces of water you should be drinking. So me, I weigh 180 pounds, divide that by two, that's 90 ounces. That's how many I should be drinking minimum throughout the day. Obviously, since I work out and I'm moving a lot throughout the day, I'm gonna be drinking even more than that. But again, it's the little things like that. You need to maximize your results. You gotta look at the big picture. Just drink more water throughout the day. Don't focus so much on what type of water, all right? Just make sure you're getting proper hydration. And lastly, when it comes to, and I feel like this is just the most common one, is we see everyone making videos of a, like, do this technique Thing to optimize your results. Do this exercise instead of this to really optimize your chest development. Do this attachment instead of using this attachment to really optimize your bicep development. But realistically, at the end of the day, does it really matter? 
we're focusing so much on the little details to optimize our workouts. But if you're really that stressed about finding little details, then more likely you're not even pushing yourself hard enough in the first place. Because if you were really pushing yourself hard enough in the first place, you'd be seeing results already and wouldn't have to rely on these little things. What you should be worried about is maximizing your results. And how are you gonna do that? It's not gonna be about the specific little attachment that you use. It's not about maybe angling your elbow from right here to right here. No, you gotta hit enough weekly volume. All right, getting enough good quality sets throughout the week to make sure that you're getting the results that you want over time. Now, a lot of people think about it like, oh no, I need to optimize my upper chest training. I need to make sure I hit it from this angle to get this. I'm gonna do only inclines because I want to build up my upper chest. Upper chest? What upper chest? Bro, you have no chest. You're a beginner. You don't even have enough gains to even notice any type of pec development. Okay, your chest is about as flat as the Sprite from Taco Bell. You should not be focusing on, oh, I only got to focus on the upper pec. I'm going to be doing this type of curl because I only want to focus on the short head, the peak. Bro, what peak? You have no biceps at all. You shouldn't be worrying about the little details like this. You should be focusing on the big picture. Hit enough curls at the end of the day to get some good results for your biceps. Get enough pressing motions. Doesn't matter which angle. Just start pressing more often, pushing harder weight, getting more good quality sets. And so out, that way you could actually see some good results in your chest or any other muscle that it is that you're training so ultimately at the end of the day i feel like everyone's just so focused on optimizing this optimizing this optimize now look at the bigger picture maximize that's going to be the key especially if you're a beginner don't get so caught up on the little minute details no look at the big picture get some development make some gains and then over time once you get a decent frame going once you get some decent results going, then you can start looking a little bit more into these smaller details but like i said you got to look at the big picture i'm just going to leave it at that Hopefully this video was helpful. Comment down below if you agree with the concept that I'm trying to explain to y'all. Hopefully y'all understand where I'm getting with this. Also comment down below just any other tips that you wanna see, any other video suggestions you'd like to see on this channel, whether it be about mindset, motivation, nutrition, diets, workouts, programs, whatever it is, comment down below. I'd be more than happy to help y'all out. Also, be sure to subscribe not just to this channel, but my girlfriend's channel and our couple's channel so you miss out on any new videos. Because remember, new videos every week across the board for all three channels. New videos on this channel specifically every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So don't miss out. And then Instagram and TikTok, same thing. Be sure to follow me on my accounts, girlfriend's accounts, couple's accounts. I put all the links down in the description below. With that being said, I'll catch y'all next time.